Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress HTML sitemap without using a plugin. Um, I'm deci I decided to make this video because I found that a couple of the other tutorials online didn't actually show you how to do this, or they said they did, but when you tried following along and pasting in the code, it didn't work. So I have built one for a client today, and I decided that um, I was going to put it on my agent's website. And while I done that, I thought I might as well shoot a video just to show anyone else out there who's who's got the same um, challenge they're facing right now exactly how to do it. Before I jump into the tutorial, it's worth me just pointing out that this isn't a beginner's uh, guide. If you're not really proficient with sort of PHP, your way around an FTP client, um, and basic sort of HTML stuff, then this video is not really for you. But if you do know a little bit about this sort of stuff, then stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it. The very first thing we need to do to make this happen is we need to create a new template file to hold the code in. Um, I think that the easiest and the most robust way of me teaching this would be for us to copy the page file in our theme um, and save it as a template. So if we go into our FTP client, go to WP Content Themes and then our Active Theme folder, um, we can then open up the page.php and literally copy the whole thing and go back into FTP, right click. I, I actually like to keep all my templates inside a folder here. So I'm going to show you how I would do it normally. Um, so I just created a folder, called it templates. And then inside that we can go create new file. Call this sitemap-template.php. Now if we open that, and we paste in everything that's inside the page file inside here. The next step is to head over to ontopmarketing.agency and copy out the code. The link's in the description. If you go to this page right here, um, as I say, it'll be in the description. You can just go ahead, copy this piece of code at the top here. Um, and then we need to go back to the sitemap template.php file and basically replace all of this code here at the top with that code. Um, keeping the PHP at the top obviously. Then if you come back to the website and copy this code here where it's got all the PHP and everything, uh, get that whole lot and then copy that and then go back to your new sitemap template and go beneath where it's got the content which it should have uh, and paste that in there, save that out and upload it back to the server. If we now go to new and then page, we're going to create a new page to hold the sitemap template. Uh, just call that sitemap. And down the bottom here, we need to change default template to sitemap. And then hit publish. And now we've basically got our sitemap, HTML uh, sitemap. So we've got all of our pages pulled in. So I don't have many pages on here right now. Uh, so that's why there's only a few there. This is also, it will show a hierarchy, so it will show sub pages. I don't have any at the moment, but it will do. Um, this is all the posts I have currently, post categories, post tags, and then our work. This is a custom post type. I've put that in there so you guys can uh, use it if you want or not. I'll show you how to move it or change it for your specific post type. So I thought it was probably worth me explaining how this code works so you can edit it for whatever it is you need. Um, the first part here where it's got pages, I've got this WP list pages and I've in here I've got exclude and then this is an ID and then title li with an empty string. Um, by default WP list pages will have a uh, title, uh, one of the other ones in here does as well and just putting it like that will get rid of it so we can manually put our own one here. <clears throat> this exclude ID, um, I'm actually going to show you how that works because I need to do it myself. Um, I like to remove this sitemap from this page. It seems a bit weird having it in there. Um, so we need to get the ID of this to remove it. Um, and basically, if you if you inspect element on it and go up to where we've got this list item, I've actually put the class here. Um, and so we can see that's 533. Uh, so if we just go into here now and do 533, save that. Now the sitemap will be gone, as you can see. Um, if you wanted to do more than just that one, we can exclude them. So if I wanted to get rid of the privacy policy, that's 501. 
So we can just in here put a comma and then 501. And that will go too. Um, the yeah, and then the same thing with, with the next one um, down where we've got the posts. So this is the the, the blogs. Uh, it's got post type set to post, and then post per page minus one. Minus one means all of them. Um, and then I've commented out this post not in array. Same thing here. If you wanted to exclude them, you can put the IDs in, and you can get those IDs by right clicking, inspect an element, and then looking on the on the li. Uh, post categories is the next one. If we come down, uh, where have I gone? Back? Right here. So it's pretty much the exact same code. WP list categories and then title li with an empty string and then show count. I've got to false um, so it doesn't show how many is inside there. And it's got this exclude array and you can put the IDs in. Again, if you inspect element on the li, uh, it will show you what the ID is right here. And then we've got tags underneath uh, pretty much the exact same code uh, once again and then underneath that we've got the R work. The way that that works is actually exactly the same as the post that we've got at the top. Um, it's got post type R hyphen work, that's what I called the custom post type for the, my client's website. Um, post per page minus one again uh, means all of them and then the post not in array you could, you could exclude ones you didn't want in there and then it's just a regular um, loop so I'm actually going to get rid of that for this one because I don't need it and you probably will as well in, unless you're using it um, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it and save that out and then that's literally all there is to it I'm just going to go ahead now and add that to my website's footer uh, down here with my cookies and privacy policy and that is all there is to it. So you've just seen me make this live and this video has been done in under 10 minutes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below. Also subscribe to the channel as I'm gonna be doing more videos just like this and I'll see you in the next video.